Hello, welcome to this tutorial for a coffee mug cozy. This is a fast and easy project to complete on the Addy 22 needle machine. The finish length is approximately 10 inches. This mug is approximately 11 inches around. Based on the size of your mug, you may need to adjust the rows to fit. So let's get started. I've already completed the tube. I cast on with waste yarn. I knit 50 rows, then bound off with waste yarn. You want to make sure you leave a 30 inch tail at both ends. I'm using my 5 millimeter crochet hook. We'll be doing the crochet version of a 3 needle bind off to finish off both ends. So insert your hook, one stitch to the right of the tail stitch, pick up the tail stitch, yarn over, and pull through both loops. Then we're going to pick up a stitch from the bottom, one from the top. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is our repeat pattern. So one from the bottom, one from the top, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you want to continue to do this pattern across the entire length of the tube. When you reach the end of the tube, you're going to pull the tail all the way through. Then you can remove your waste yarn. You'll want to secure the end with a knot and then you can bury the tail inside the tube. For the other end, we need to add a closure loop in the center. We'll start by binding off the same way. Insert your hook one stitch to the right of the tail end stitch. Pick up the tail end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Pick up a bottom stitch, a top stitch, yarn over and pull through all three. Now we're going to do this for six stitches. After the sixth stitch, we're going to immediately do a chain 12. This is going to create that loop that we need. After we've done the 12 chains, we're going to insert the hook back into that sixth stitch. We're going to go through the bottom loop and the top loop, and then we'll yarn over and pull through all three. This joins that loop together. And now we can continue to do the regular bind off pattern until the end of the tube. When you reach that last stitch, you can go ahead and pull the tail through. And then we can remove the waste yarn, secure the end with a knot, and bury the tail just like we did on the other end. And that's it. You can now decorate your cozy as you wish. The written instructions are available for free download in my Ravelry store, or you can find the instructions on my Instagram account. The links are below. Thanks for watching.